So we all know Jesus was a black man, right? Duh. But did you know that the white man we see on the cross today was actually Da Vinci's gay lover, Cesare Borgia? Now this dude, Cesare Borgia, also used to have relations with his own sister. Oh yeah, and he killed his own brother. So you mean to tell me that all the homophobic Christians out there have been worshipping a gay man? Who banged his own sister and killed his own brother? Uh -huh. The irony is not lost on me. Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hamrakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom unto you. Alright, so as the video we just watched, uh, <laughs> you can see uh, it's becoming commonplace. Okay, Esau can't hide anymore. Alright, the truth is coming out. The truth is out there that the, that, that the, the work of, of, of the men of the Lord those that are called to this thing, Lord willing, chosen, uh, have been, uh, the fruits of their labors are, are being shown. That is, 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 because how many years did you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans believe this bold-faced lie that our Savior, our Messiah, the so-called white man, okay? And this was the image of the guy that they, um, that they, that they used, okay? And then it says, uh, it goes into him here, Cesare or Cesare or whatever, Borgia, uh, was an Italian politician and condulitario, I don't know, who, whose fight for power was a major inspiration for the Prince of, uh, the Prince by Machiavelli. It says, uh, he was an illegitimate son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. We all talk about that, right? So the Pope felt like if he was the father, his son is the son of God, right? It says, and member of the Spanish Argon, Aragonese house of Borgia. Okay, and it shows his birthday. Look, this, look, look what year this is. All right? Because that image that, that we've been taught to worship for so long. Um, see, this is the images of him here. But look, the images that we've been taught for so long. Is, is 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 of a man that was born in the 1400s okay so how could how could they use that image to be like uh like the lord all right so i'm gonna get a couple scripts and i'm gonna close it all right i'm gonna start this uh second letter of six and 27 for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched as for faith it flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And we've been out here declaring this truth, and no one wants to hear us for so many years, but now you can see the fruits of that coming to pass, okay? The fruits of, of it being common information, common knowledge now. All right, so so the labors of the, of the, of, of the elect, of, of, of the men of the Lord, have really been uh, uh, coming to pass, have, have, have been, have been uh, fruitful now. That this, like she said, we all know that... Um, that Jesus was a black man. Well, his real name is Yahweh Shai. That's another level of it. And then we will push this name of Yahweh Shai, the, the real name, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, those names, uh, which the name Yahweh is of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is, is his son's name. We will push those names until those become commonplace as well. All right, let me go from there. Go to Job. Just a few scripts off the top of the head to, to hit this with, because this is, this is a beautiful thing, all right? It says, uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right? Which are the Edomites, which are you so-called uh, white people, all right? It says, uh, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. And this is how he did it. He covered the face of our Messiah, and then they painted up their own images, okay? And this is what you get today. And this is what you get today, all right? So there's... It's come to pass now that the people are knowing that this is a bold-faced lie, but there's still a lot of you simple people out there that 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 rather see this image and, and worship and praise this image than, than your own power and you're, than the image of the actual Lord Himself. Okay, not realizing this is a major stronghold against you. All right, let me get a couple more scripts. Uh, 
All right. This is 2 Corinthians 10. It says, for, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. We're not carnal people. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High, Yahweh, to the pulling down of strongholds. And this is a major stronghold that we pulled down. Okay, all, all these years that the apostles and their elders have have been doing, uh, putting in, all the way into to the to the to the us that that have have woke up, we've been working all these years, and, and it's starting to pay off. We're starting to see that that fruit come to pass. That stronghold being broken down. Is it completely broken? Where it's just an understanding with, with everybody on the earth? No, because there's people that just refuse that their 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 consciences and their minds are seared with hot iron. They just won't believe it. And I'm and I'm not talking about other Edomites and other nations. I'm talking about you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You people do not want to believe that the Lord is a dark-skinned so-called black man today. Alright? And it says, casting down imaginations. This was an imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And this was a high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. So when you put this image up, you see that the so-called white man is the power uh, of, of the earth. Okay, because he's in rulership, but that's not the actual truth. Okay, the real truth is he's a so-called, uh, is so-called black man, or he's a, he's a dark-skinned man. Okay, very dark, and that's in. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get it, but that's in uh, the book of Revelation, the first chapter. All right, it says, uh, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the anointed. Oh, uh, Okay, Hamashiach. All right, let me get another one. Uh, what was that other one I was thinking? Alright, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. It said, Let no man deceive you by any means. And our people have been deceived. Okay, to the point that this is in a lot of our houses. They put it in the Bibles, they put it in the churches. They, when, when you bring up the name of, uh, uh, or the, the Greek title, Jesus, um, which there was no letter J, but that's another tale from another lesson for another day. You people believed it. You believe this was the image. Okay? It said, Let no man deceive you, for that day shall shall not come. Excuse me, except there be there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. This is his fingerprint that he's being revealed. Revealed that he put these images up and, and he was a, it was a bold faced lie. Okay, who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped. So he, he put himself up in that high seat. He puts himself up as the Most High himself, and as the Son of the Most High, and even as the people of the Most High. Call them so Jewish and Israeli, when they're, they're, they're nothing of. Okay, they, they have no other traits, but they're, they're in the land, and they call themselves uh, Israel. Okay? But we're gonna. The truth is gonna be declared when the real Yahweh shows up. The real Messiah shows up. Okay, it says the scripture says uh, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is God. Okay. Let me jump down to verse six. It says and now ye know what withhold it that he might be revealed in this time. Yeah, now it's coming to common place that that you people are starting to understand it. What was withheld that you that you didn't know the adverse to it that, that the prophets that the that the books were sealed and the prophets hadn't broken it down to you yet, okay? But now it's being revealed. It says, "For the mystery of iniquity do already work," because this was from from hundreds of years ago, and now it's coming to pass. And this is still on the books uh, 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 for Esau to get judged by, okay? It says, "Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out the way." Yeah, only he who now let the Most High is allowing it to go down. So when he, he has full reason to judge these Edomites in the harsh manner that he's going to. All right, verse 8, it says, And then shall the, till that wicked be revealed. And we and who the wicked? It's showing you who the wicked is. They put their faces right there. It said, Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And the prophets are, are the ones that are speaking with the spirit of, of, the, of the Lord's mouth. Okay? We're the mouthpiece of the Lord. Said, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. We have destroyed. It ain't completely gone, but we're destroying the uh, uh, that stronghold that this is the real image of the Messiah. Okay, this is who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. This is this is the guy, this is the image of the guy that um that the Bible is speaking of. 
when the Bible describes nothing of the sort. Okay, I have another one. And I'll probably close out with that one. In the book of, uh, I believe it's 1 Maccabees, the third chapter. Yep, 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Okay, they painted their own images over our images. This is way back in the, in the Greek captivity. Okay, they, they began this whole thing painting uh, all of our forefathers and putting them in, in, into their images. So they would one day uh, build that stronghold all the way up to where they would be considered the people of the Lord, which it never, it never changed. So you can bring up replacement theology all you want. That's what Esau did. Esau tried to do replacement theology. Because he's trying to get his birthright back, but it don't work that way. The prophecy was for the Israelites to get the, the birthright, not the Edomites. And the debate has always been about who are the Edomites, who are, who are the um, who are the Israelites, who are God's chosen people, who's going to get the blessing, who's going to get full control of the earth. Well, because we're in our, one of our lowest states, nobody wanted to consider that we could be those people of the Lord. But now that the men of the Lord and the elect are starting to wake up, hey... We're, we're fitting into that role. We're, we're, the books are open to where we can see the prophecies come to pass. Because no one else is, is breaking down these prophecies like 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 Jacob. Okay? Like like you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans standing up together. When we were just enemies less than 10 years ago. I mean, you go all the way back to the prison system. We were really still having trouble. But now we're starting to wake the people up. And we're, we're speaking the same thing. And, you know, breaking this word down the same way. And, and we're getting a lot more understanding. So it's commonplace now, okay? You can't use this image as a stronghold of our people. It's becoming regular people, even on TikTok, are calling you out that, that we all know Jesus was a black man, okay? Blah, 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 blah. But this man has got to get judged as well, okay? And he, in the, through the process of reincarnation, he would be back on the earth to get judged along with uh, his father and so on and so forth, man, and the rest of his people, all right? And eventually... You that don't want to get right, you're going to be judged as well. And those that are getting right, we're, you know, uh, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, in a, if it be the Lord's will, we're, get, we're going to get saved, okay? Because there is an elect that will, a remnant that will, be, uh, that will be saved in this thing. So anyway, I just want to hit that real quick. So with that, I'm going to close out, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Arakak, Wadash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Until the next one, Shalom.